This abandoned house here has something gruesome on the inside. It's actually one of the most disgusting and nastiest bathrooms I've ever come across. If you want to see it, all you got to do is continue watching. Behind my left shoulder appears to be another abandoned house. Now this is a location that I've had my eye on for probably two to three years. I drive by this area every so often, maybe once or twice a year, and I'm always keeping my eyes peeled to see if there's any activity, to see if anything's changed or moved, and also pay attention to Google satellite images to see, again, same thing if anything is new or different. From what I could tell, this place is 100% abandoned. It is near a really busy roadway, so you will hear vehicles. And now that we're in the dead of winter, I am really visible. Certain areas are more hidden than others. I'm gonna do my job to kind of not draw too much attention to myself, but to document this place as much as possible. From first glance, I think there's some items left behind, including a toy, which means, you know, it's officially abandoned. So if you wanna see what this house has to offer, all you gotta do is come along with me. Now at first glance, this home sits on a rather large piece of property, easily a few acres. It is being reclaimed by nature. There is a little small shed type structure that's down here. It's more visible to the roadway, so I'll probably show that last. But we're gonna go behind the house, and right now from here I can see there's a few open windows. Hopefully there's an open door. If it is posted, locked up, sealed up, obviously we won't be going inside. We'll just document it from the outside. But if it is open, we'll go inside, be respectful, and see if this home has a story to tell like all the other ones. I think this home may not disappoint. From what I could tell just from the outside, there is a lot left behind. And already telling a bit of a story that most likely they had children. There is a little swing set here. I also spot some chairs, which looks like from a bowling alley. There's random stuff out here. Further in the distance, there's more stuff. They may have been a type of hoarder slash collector, scrapper. But first glance, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a boring location. And even through the windows, I could see boxes in the middle window upstairs. Looks like maybe a mattress against the left window, a covered back door porch. The roof is still intact, but it is sagging. And I do know on the side, there's an open window. I'm gonna safely get down here. We'll get a closer look and see what our next game plan is gonna be. So if you're facing the house, this would be to the left. From the back of the house, this is to the right. And there is a collapsed structure here. And something that has wheels. There's a frame here. Could have been an automobile, could have been a truck. Definitely aged and dated. You actually see the wire wheels there.
This actually almost appears to be like a chicken coop or something. I see cages, maybe even bunnies or some type of animals. Um, gonna try to get a little bit closer, but it's pretty much what you see here. But my first instinct is that it was something for animals. If you guys recognize anything you see, feel free to identify. There's obviously some sheet metal here. There's something like, I'm guessing maybe some type of farm attachment or something or tool. There's like three little points or spikes coming off of it. These box cages, as I mentioned, some windows here. Some coiled up um, wire or conduit. Could have been for storage, but it does give the feel and the vibe of a chicken coop or maybe where they kept bunnies or small animals. And that's the proximity of it from the house. As mentioned, there's a lot of stuff here. It's almost like a little junkyard. Oh, speaking of bunnies, I just chased one right out of here. Like maybe an attachment for a tractor there. There is a lot of a lot of crap here. It's like they were essentially hoarding scrap metal. I think this is a refrigerator or freezer right here. Some more appliances, I guess you could say. Bottles, plastic. A bit of everything. Another collapsed structure. I'm basically walking on rubbish and trash right now. It's like a mini landfill. Here's what's left of a patio chair. A fold out. The, the plastic ribbon that would go across it. A lot of this I don't know what I'm looking at. Some metal chair there. It's kind of bent and folded over. There's these circular drums. But down here there's a lot more. That's quite the lamp. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Most of it I think is no good at this point. But there's a plastic... Some plastic stuff, like a little play set for children. And sinking in there. I gotta watch where I'm stepping. There's nails and all other kinds of stuff that wants to just reach out and grab you. There's the front portion of a television. Alright, enough of this. Let's get right behind the house, check out those contents, including the swing set, and then we'll see if we can make entry. Sliding board right here. kerosene heater and here's another look at where we just wore here's the home boy <clears throat> excuse me this house looks like it's loaded which is contents that window is full there's stuff I can see in this window this might be more than we can actually handle on the inside. This must be where they kept the power tools. They got a push mower right here, weed trimmer, weed whacker right there, wheelbarrow, stationary bike, 
Uh, miscellaneous stuff is a coffee maker there. Really no rhyme or reason. Another folding chair, another folding chair. Another weed trimmer. It's like Oprah. You get a weed whacker and you get a weed whacker. And another kerosene heater. If you want that, you can have it too. Now, the only thing I'm seeing right now is a uh, warning security dog. Probably when people were living here, I wouldn't be surprised if they had a, a dog on a resident, on location, I should say. Also looking too, I do see the knobs on the outside. I'm not sure if that would be for knob and tube wiring or for an antenna, but there's a couple white knobs sticking out the corners of the house. Essentially a trash dump here, bottle dump. You got your plastics over there, your tins over here. I'm sure there's glass somewhere. People that definitely didn't want to throw stuff away and weren't the most organized, even though it is kind of organized, if that makes sense. Anything on the hibachi? It's clean. A few acorns. Another grill right there. These cans with the holes in them. And we do have an open door policy, so that is good news. So if you are curious what's inside, continue watching. But I'm gonna check out the rest of this first. Watch your eyes. So here's the swing set. Still got the horse here. Kind of blends in with the snow, but. Try to give you some better visuals of it here. The type of love seat here. And these are the chairs, like I said, look like they're from a bowling alley. What do you think? has that color scheme and that's just particular style and look to them and there's another little um, bench swing right there and there's some more seats over there and I'll check out the side in just a moment bamboo though if I came in the summertime wouldn't be able to see any of this this would be completely filled in it'd be a bamboo jungle Here's more seating right here. It's actually on its back. That's where you would put your butt. That's the backrest. I heard a voice. There's a, another one right there. Pretty certain these are from a bowling alley. Now from a distance, I thought that window was open. It's not. It is closed, it's just really dark. Basement windows are open, but I already confirmed the back door is pretty much wide open. And it's not posted, not gated, not signed, not purple painted. And again, we're not here to take anything, just to document. You guys want a sneak peek as to what's inside? I'm gonna stick you through that window right there. But before we do that, I was able to confirm it had oil heat. Not really that fair. You guys got to see it before me. I honestly didn't go inside yet, but I think we're in for quite a surprise. This is the moment you guys have been waiting for. We're gonna go inside. Possibly, maybe. So here's under the covered porch. 
as mentioned lots of stuff left behind and here is beams 10 pin more bowling alley remnants it's a type of buffet piece of furniture there would have been a swinging bench it's a mailbox here lots of um fluorescent lighting fixtures they're all rusted what is this is it primitive cd player oh, there goes the bowling pin emerson compact disc player that's got 90s written all over it toolbox here which looks like it doesn't have so much tools in it more or less just randomness now i did state there was an open door open door open door policy that was the what i spotted first that door that goes inside the home is closed i don't know if it's locked i'm not going to force my way in if it's open we'll go in if it's locked i'll have to try to find another point of entry there's a hula hoop right there there's a animal cage just loads of junk there's a I think this is a washing machine right here looks like the ringer right there the tub combination of old and newer stuff it's a broken window right there but let's try this in real time and we'll find out together. So it's open, but it feels like there's something behind it. Oh, nope, we're open. Hello, anybody here? Oh my goodness. This is a hoarder house. Holy crap. I'm going to be very, very careful and just watch where I'm stepping. I don't know if there's animals in here. There is mold. So I'm not going to spend a terrible amount of time in here. But everything and then some is left behind. I think this is safe to classify as a hoarder house. This is ridiculous. Oh boy. Where do we start? So, welcome to the kitchen. This is where they would make the home cooked meals. 100% they had children, without a doubt. We saw the swing sets and slides. There's more toys right there. Dragon. kitchen table complete with some 45 vinyl records let's see there's a carton of eggs let's and some canned foods let's see if we get some dates on them so give me a moment here there's a can of uh chef boy rd mac and cheese not opened best by september 2020 so it's now 2023 that means this is expired in 2020 this is probably from a couple of years earlier i'm guessing Let's check a few other things here. It's February 02, 1 2. I don't know if that's February 2002 or 21. I can't imagine someone lived here up until just a few years ago. Let's see, you got olives. Best Buy, October 2015. So that's more realistic. Eggs expire, expire, expired uh, December 2012. There's a newspaper. 2012. So that puts it, if we're going to go based on dates of the stuff on the table, 
we're looking at roughly 10, 11 years that no one's lived here. Supposedly. We don't know that for fact. Just at first glance, based on what I'm seeing on the dates of stuff. But maybe we'll get a calendar date somewhere. Calendars are usually the go-to source for the last year of occupancy because that's usually left where it was last changed prior to when they moved out or left. Realistically, between me and you, I'm hoping I don't find anything I shouldn't find, like... I don't want to find anything I don't want to have to report, so to speak. These are the kind of places that people almost get buried in or just pass away in just because they refuse to change or, you know, get help and they just kind of become, like, entrapped in their own home. I'm not the first one to be here from what I could tell because the doors open, stuff is kind of rummaged around. But so far there's no graffiti. Pretty sure there's no power. No power. But I am on, I'm a little bit on edge just because there's a, an abundance of stuff and I don't know what we're going to come across. I'm going to try to show you as much as I can in the littlest amount of time. But with how much is here, you could spend a few days going through everything and probably not see it all. I'm not here to dissect every piece. I'm here to mostly show you the home, the conditions of it, and try to piece together the story of the people who lived here. So with that being said, let's continue onwards. This appears to be um, a pogo stick. This appears to be a pogo stick, and one I've never seen before is just a single pole. You can't really uh, get a good grasp on it, and it's got the two footholds. I'm guessing that's a pogo stick. If you guys have ever seen one like that, and maybe have an approximate date, feel free to let me know. It appears they like their Hot Pockets. What are you going to pick? Hot Pockets! There's all the spices. They were definitely a bowling person. There was a bowling advertisement for different bowling alleys. Maybe they even worked at one. Who knows? That's a possibility. Now there's definitely some roof rot. There is water leaking into the home as we speak. Here's the kitchen sink. Full of dishes. And some plastic Tupperware. Great value instant brown rice. Food processor, Lord of the Rings, uh, glass, glassware. Microwave egg cooker. It's like they bought all the uh, ass seen on TV stuff. Ron Popeil. Refrigerator. Did I say refrigerator? Fr refrigerator. Um, I think I'm not going to open it. I truly don't want to know what's inside. But there is Fruit Loops up on top of it. Now there is different newspapers here from the area. Not one particular brand, so I'm guessing they probably went to like their local convenience store or something and purchased them. This looks like the basement from hell. Hmm. We're going to go down there, just not yet. I got to get a look at the rest of the house, but that looks sketchy. There's all types of trip hazards, sharp, rusty objects. But that brings us into, I'm guessing, the living room. It is dark in here. I do apologize. I'm going to try to bounce the light like that for you. Maybe that'll help. Another kerosene heater. That's probably their heating source when they didn't have heating fuel for the furnace. Look at the old flip phone. Virgin Mobile. There's even a Dell computer uh, tower right there. This is like a little computer desk. Very odd collection of items from 
modern to old and antiquated almost. I'm guessing the more modern stuff is probably for the children. I don't see an older couple having a Dell computer or flip phone. Not to say it's not out of the realm of possibilities, but I just don't... It uh, doesn't seem to match up with everything else I see here. So there's the radiators. Oh, there's the upstairs. We will be going up there as well. This is actually bigger than I thought on the inside. Paper mache butterfly right there. Some garland or a Christmas decoration or even um, mistletoe. Here's a nice piece of furniture too, it's like a coat rack. Some nice detail on it. See the hooks there. I guess for coats, maybe hats, maybe a hat rack. It's got the mirror so you could make sure you're looking all fine and dapper when you're ready to go out. Oh, it's actually a chair as well. Wow. That is a neat piece of furniture. So it's a chair slash, I'm guessing hat rack, but the detail on it is really nice. Another um, I'm guessing this is maybe a dining room. That looks like maybe for chinaware, plateware, whatever you want to call it. Vacuums here. Not sure it's going to do much good. There's the entertainment center, complete with VHS collection. I think we need to go through some of those. Yeah, this is amazing. There's also signs of Christmas decorations around the corner of the ceiling. There's ripped pieces of garland. So they definitely decorated for the holidays, which is nice. And it looks like, I'm guessing that's, uh, I thought that was her lays, like Hawaiian lays, but those are types of Christmas decorations like garland, the white and red. Let's see here. The Strecker Memorandum Hurricane Little Colonel. It's like a lot of blank tapes that they just taped on stuff. Nothing sacred. Try to leave it how I found it. So I'm just there we go. Learning plurals, Columbo, Hell's Brigade, Rudolph, Rain Man, American Graffiti, Stunt Busters. Entertainment system right there, which is tape deck and I believe a multi-disc changer on top. Six disc, no, sorry, five disc CD changer up on the top. And a tape deck on the bottom, AM, FM tuner. There's the record player. I'm guessing someone worked at a bowling alley. There's a lot of things from bowling alleys, more than one. But this is mind blowing. Let's continue on. You can hear the water dripping. We do have some severe roof rot. So I gotta make sure when I go upstairs, I don't go on that portion or else I'm gonna end up in that portion. And that won't be fun. Oh, look at the, the furniture. It's got, I should have brought a different flashlight. This is kind of washing it out, but it's got that 90s um, carpeting pattern for the furniture. It's like a love seat right here. This must have been the television room, the TV stand right there. They have a trash can here, I'm guessing, try to collect the water, but I don't know when someone was last in here. Gotta make sure I don't end up in the basement either. 
Oh, they're a collector of lanterns. Gas lamps, I guess those are, or lanterns. I'm sure there's some like still valuable stuff here too, but I don't know much of what I'm looking at, just the basics. And again, you could spend days in here and probably not see it all. There's a VCR. And there's that room. I'll show you that from the kitchen. That is adjoining off the kitchen. And it's more or less just the garbage room. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell that bad in here. I mean, there is a musty odor. It is damp and wet. But it's not horribly overpowering. It's not smelling like trash so much. There is some broken windows, so there is ventilation. I'm sure in the summertime it'd be much worse. So I'm thankful to be here now. So let's go into this room here. Oh boy. So that's the window I stuck you guys through earlier when I gave you the sneak peek preview. And this is what it's like. I'm just trying to go as slow as possible, just to let you kind of take in everything. I'm not going to go lifting up things, trying to uncover what's buried, because I honestly don't know what's even in here. Philips surround sound system. That's relatively modern. Oh, there's a set of organ. Excuse me. I don't think that's a piano. I think that's an organ, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Oh. So, multiple computer towers here. IBM. Uh, looks like at least two IBMs. It's a Canon printer right there. More VHS and um, Super 8 tapes. Cassette tapes. Monitor of sorts right there. It's a propane heater. Hooks up to like a 20 pound tank right there next to that jug. Lots of spring water jugs. That's what primarily most of this is. Maybe costume jewelry. Bookshelf. This is so interesting, but also sad at the same time. I mean, people, the people that lived here went to a great effort to not only purchase and collect, but to hang on to these things. Obviously, if you ever watched a TV show Hoarders or know someone who was a hoarder, typically it boils down to they have, you know, some sort of condition where they just can't let go of things they always think they're going to need it for something or has a sentimental value to it even though it's garbage to anyone else so it is sad in the aspect that you know they went through the effort of making this the way it is because it was important to them but at the same time it's like the saying goes you can't take it with you when you pass away so it's now here left to rot most likely this house will get torn down if someone ever buys the property and everything here mostly everything here will probably just end up in a landfill so it's interesting I, I love places like this it definitely has memories and stories to tell but sad at the same time and that's where we were just a few minutes ago that's where the water is leaking in there so that's the whole downstairs first floor I think we're going to go upstairs next and then do the basement last. But there is... I wish I could show you more. I just I can't spend all day here though. It's fascinating though. Singer sewing machine. Upstairs we go. Spider web 
cards. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I was just filming a B-roll segment just to show myself walking up the steps, but I did take a quick peek. It looks rather disturbing. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it. You're gonna have to come up and see for yourself. Thankfully, I am carrying protection. I don't think there's anyone here, but whoever was here, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Maybe it'll make more sense once you guys see it and we see the rest of it, but let's go upstairs. The steps are covered in uh, playing cards. I'm gonna have to be very careful. Now, what's going on with these lines up here? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Okay, so this makes more sense. This was their um, clothesline, I believe. Oh, that didn't sound good when I stood up here. Where do we begin? Where can we even go? This is... I'm sorry to be repetitive. I'm almost speechless, though. That's what caught me off guard. I saw all these hanging wires. I'm like, what the heck is that? I do see clothespins down there, so I'm guessing this is their clothesline for drying clothes. I do see a guitar down there, which is, appears to be the bathroom. Between here and there, there's hundreds of items. There's a broken violin. We have a bedroom here. I'm guessing a bedroom here. Let's, uh, let's go straight ahead. This is definitely gonna be a long video if you can't tell because there is just an abundance of things to see and show. And it'd be a shame not to share it with all of you in as much detail as I can. Really small bedroom. Wow, extremely small. Looks like uh, maybe a children's room, even a playroom. There's a lot of toys and board games in here. Oh, look at that. Rescue. That is a, a neat piece. A box full of toys right here. Spinny top. Stands for uh, maybe badminton. Daisy Duck, ice cream cone, it's literally a box full of toys. Hopefully the children just outgrew them and they didn't have to leave them here. So this square, not square, this rectangle here is the bed frame. Looks like it's like custom made. There's the box spring. Tiniest of closets with a little chest of drawers right there metal cabinet there's a super spirograph home alone 2 lost in new york board game save mount olympus trick-or-treat there's puzzles the jar of peanut butter maybe a girl's room Maybe a little girl. Looks like a little makeup case. Disc man, portable CD, Walkman. I mean, yeah, not a Walkman, that's cassette. Disc man, I was right. Coloring. It's a little play vacuum right there. Clothes are still in the drawers. There's a little playhouse right there. Definitely a, a girl, girl's contents, girl's room. I can't believe there's even clothes in the drawers though. It looks like little kids clothes. And I have no choice but to step on the things here because it's just, that's the floor. It's just contents. Uh, 
Super Mario 64. It's like a 35 millimeter camera. And then a uh, Toshiba 7 inch diagonal widescreen DVD player. So this it looks like they did cater to the children. They have a lot of toys. Do see some more modern things, you know, for watching movies, computers. So my assumption is that, you know, whoever's taking care of the kids took good care of them despite the living conditions. That is not really too acceptable, but they had more than enough things to keep them occupied without a doubt. Let's uh, continue on. Oh, look at this. Simplomat. Sekonic Zoom 8. Looks like an 8 millimeter camera. Load camera, revolve after 25 feet. It's like an actual film camera. That is pretty neat. Heavy too, probably weighs about 10 pounds. Well, I guess let's focus on this room here. I just stepped on a Easter egg, broke it. There's a fishing rod there. There's a Kiss album. They got some decent music taste. This might be access to the attic, and I don't know if I can get up there. I know lighting is really poor in here. I can't do much about it. This is all records in here. Vinyl records. There's the drum. Clothes. It's like a, maybe a hunting jacket. I'm literally stepping on mounds of stuff here. Power Rangers. Um, that is the attic. And I don't really have an easy way to get over there without climbing over everything. Oh, boy. Hang on, I'm seeing a, a date here. Eckert Pharmacy... 2000 date yeah I'm literally hanging over here <sighs> I don't think I can make it up to the attic if I do I'll save that for when I'm done with everything else but I'd have to move some stuff around I don't know I don't really want to disturb things too much let's keep moving and we'll figure that out later Oh my goodness, there's another room here. Look at this one. I can't even get into it. Oh, wow. This is a, a bigger room and it's filled floor to ceiling with everything and anything. It's impenetrable. I'd have to climb over everything to get to the back. You know what? Let's do a little bit of climbing. Let's see what it looks like further back. I don't advise doing this on your own. I don't know what I'm going to be getting into here. I'm literally running against the ceiling here. So there's the back, there's a closet. See some crock pot boxes, there's a little record player. Uh, human brain half skull. All right, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm getting out of here. This is crazy. I'm on so much stuff right here. I just can't can't comprehend how people live like this this was at one time a bedroom now it's I don't even know if you even consider it storage it's like uh, a mini landfill but I don't think it's all junk I think there is some decent stuff in here it's just 
buried. No rhyme or reason, just chucked it in here. Oh man. Whew. That was quite the endeavor. This is a big house. It's surprisingly deceiving from the outside. Small rooms, but many rooms. Oh, bathroom looks horrendous. Fair warning when you see that, I'll tell you when to turn away if you don't want to see it. This looks like a master bedroom, possibly. Electric guitar right here. Little wardrobe. Uh, I don't know what you want to call that, a wardrobe box? <laughs> they have some garments and things inside. Little portable television up there. Leather craft workshop kit. Santa 0506, there's some more costume jewelry. TV right there. What is this? I am available for gigs if you want to hire me. It smells old and dusty in here. It smells almost like an antique shop in here. That's what it that's the initial feel and smell to it. It's definitely not a kid's room without a doubt. Now this room here is where the roof is leaking. I'm definitely not going in there. There's a lot of heavy things in there, which is eventually going to end up on their first floor. But we're going to go to the left of it. Oh, another kid's jackpot room. Look at all the Power Rangers and toys. A lot of furniture. Uh, you know, chest of drawers and wardrobe things. I'm sorry I'm saying things. I'm just lack of a better word. I just can't think right now. I'm just kind of, my mind is on over overload with everything I'm taking in here. There's Christmas in the background there. Christmas decorations. Mattress. But yeah, plenty of toys without a doubt. Power bug. Power Rangers motorcycle. Now this is the room that's leaking and I'm not going anywhere into there further than what I'm doing right now just to kind of reach in and show you. There's actually snow in the inside here and ice. It is clear open to the outside. So I thought the roof was intact, but it's definitely not. This was another bedroom though. And there's a lot of things stacked in here, which is weighing it down. The floor is sunken in. As we saw downstairs, the, the beams are busted. So one day, most of the stuff is going to just collapse right it down on the first floor living room area. There's even the amp for the electric guitar. And there's an acoustic guitar. Do you have any requests? at myself all right here's your warning i'm going into the bathroom it looks pretty nasty especially in the toilet area if you don't want to see what that looks like turn away now and i'll tell you when it's safe to look but this is a pretty disgusting bathroom oh god this is so gross Without being too vulgar, uh, that toilet is basically backed up with excrement and used, I guess they didn't even have plumbing. Oh, this is all dirty tissues and pads. Oh, that is so gross. There's tampon, used tampon, holy crap, used tam, 
oh, this is just nasty, used tampon pads just piled up here. Used tissues from wiping your you-know-what. Ugh. That is so gross. The tub is just full. They didn't take a bath in a long, long time. I'm guessing they didn't have running water. They just backed up the toilet. That is so... Oh, God. I can only imagine the smell here in the summertime. Uh, before I get out, here's the, the vanity area. They got some Old Spice. Also, if you want to look now, you could. I'm not going to show the toilet anymore. But, uh, yeah, this is one of the grossest bathrooms I've ever been, ever been in. Oh, God. So bad. It actually still kind of smells. I'm breathing through my mouth right now, which probably isn't helping, but I don't have a choice. So let's take a quick count here. I'm curious. One bedroom here. I guess that'd be considered a bedroom. Two bedrooms. That's actually a, a pink and blue door there. Bathroom. Master bedroom. So that's three bedrooms. Then we have the bedroom that I climbed over Mount Crapmore. Right there. So that's four. This one, which I don't... More like an office, but it could maybe be a small bedroom if the furniture wasn't in here. And then this one. So... Potentially five to six bedrooms. All right, so what my next plan of action is, I'm going to walk around upstairs, get some still photos so I can share in a photo montage. Since I climbed over Mount Cratmore, I'm going to try to get upstairs to the attic. Honestly, it's against my better judgment, but I'm like, you know, from here, I don't plan on returning, and I don't know... What's going to come in this place? I want to document it as best I can. If something feels too sketchy, I'm not going to go forward. But I'm going to go a little bit outside of my comfort zone for you guys and for my own curiosity. Plus, we still have the basement. The basement I know is loaded as well. So there's still a lot more video to come. Don't go anywhere. But when you see me next, we'll be trying to head up to the third floor. Got some access to the attic if you want to go just be careful oh, God. I don't know how far I'm gonna go up but I'm gonna give it a shot it's a NASCAR Power Rangers balloon. Somebody like Power Rangers. Oh my god. Alright, I'm not going any further. That step is sketchy. This isn't even a finished attic, but there's stuff everywhere. There's a hole. Where the light is, that's for the opening in the roof. There's a number of trunks here. Which are loaded. Picture frames. Glassware. More toys. I think that's the creature from the Black Lagoon. There's a little game set here. Um, it's got netted pockets. There's an Atari. What's that? There's test tubes. Atari 7800, and it's inside of it. Got the joysticks and everything. I know uh, my friend Jake, Mr. Smithnet, would appreciate this. 
I had an Atari when I was younger. I don't remember if it was this one or not. Could have been. Looks like a Cabbage Patch doll right there, maybe. There's more Christmas garland and stuff in the background, furniture. Yeah, it's uh, a mother load of items. And I'm on a really weak step here, so I'm going back down. There's even a door right here, too. Yeah, I'm going to go back downstairs, and we'll make our way to the basement. Safely made it back down. We're in the living room, office, storage area. And we're going to go downstairs. No power, of course. I could barely fit down these steps here. It's kind of like a little pantry area too. Oh, there's actually um, locked doors right there. Those are two doors right there. And there's a latch locking it closed. What the heck could be behind there? That really has my attention. All right, pantry is stocked up. Barg's root beer, Fanta, and Sprite. Unopened bottles. This is like, um, have you guys ever seen the movie People Under the Stairs? Like what their basement looks like? This is what it resembles. So here, these are two doors right here. And there's a latch. But there's a shelf in front of here. What could be behind here? Maybe it goes to the outside. I don't know. That, that's kind of weird. Uh, let's just keep going down. Oh my god. Oh, so that is uh, what I just came down. Was not fun or pleasant, but I made it. Oh, I missed all those bottles of Coca-Cola, which are filled with water. They were repurposing the bottles with water. I wonder if they had a spring well here, because we saw all those spring water bottles. They could have had a spring on site as well. Just came to mind. There's a walker here. So somebody elderly was using it, most likely. I wish I was better prepared with lighting. This is... Uh, I just can't get over how much stuff they accumulated probably over their lifetime. There's a washing machine right there. They do have a combination of older and newer electricity, but look at this uh, electrical box. I wonder if that's up to code. Yeah, that looks all kind of uh, rigged up and unsafe. <laughs> really bad. But there's definitely knob and tube wiring. There's more modern electrical boxes. There's a dryer vent. But this is a washer though. No, yeah, it is a washer. And I'm not even walking on the floor because Oh, Jesus. I can't even see the floor. So here's a workbench. Some tools. There's a clamp there. Uh, uh, this is a death trap. I'm not staying down here too long. Is that a Christmas tree uh, holder? Somebody who definitely messed around with tools, you know, maybe he did some 
woodworking or electrical repairs, automotive repairs, who knows. I'm just throwing out items. There's a motor which would have spun a belt right here, maybe for a grinder or something. Water heater. Oh, look at this. <clears throat> o scale train tracks. They're all rusty, unfortunately. Oh, if I could find a train set, that would be a heck of a find. Oh, they did canning. Those are all canned items. I don't know what they are, but there's items in cans with liquid. Yep, even over there, that cabinet is full of canned items. The floor is covered in glass mason jars. There's a, a lot of everything down here. Train tracks though, O scale, what a find. There's a big wash tub right there. Artificial Christmas tree. There's the furnace. It's really rusted and weathered. There's a desk right here, chairs. Oh man. All right, I've seen enough and it's really a hazard down here. I'm gonna get upstairs, make it back outside show you the little sheds, shed structure on the side of the house and give you a quick shot of the front of the house either on camera or with a still photo depending on how busy it is with traffic and then we're going to head up somewhere in the yard get some privacy and i'm going to share my thoughts about what we've seen here because this was not expected this was beyond incredible and sad at the same time but i'll touch more on that later There we are outside, and here's like the little structures I was mentioning. This one's completely collapsed. Looks like a air conditioner inside of there. There's like a small little metal shed. And this one here is wooden. And some more toys and miscellaneous garbage. This little <clears throat> ride on top of vehicles it's like a little mower of sorts wheelbarrow other things stroller television and let's see They always say a broken clock is right at least two times a day. So this is 3.43 almost. And it's about two hours off. Yeah, a little igloo cooler. It's like a mini mate. Looks like a kid's cooler. So I am going to be exposed here. So i uh, not going to spend too much time. But... I already got what I need as far as footage, so it's not a huge deal if I get seen. There's something right there as well, too. I don't know what that could have been. The property is completely overgrown, though. We could barely even see it now in the winter. Not a great deal of um, appeal, front front yard appeal, front house appeal. You can actually make out the old driveway here. There's tire tracks, looks like maybe like um, 
all-terrain vehicle or something. So this is how they would gain access. And this is probably the best view we're going to get. And now the sun's coming out. And there's the front porch. We've got a rocker recliner. Porsche is collapsing in. Roof is falling apart. Nothing too exciting, but I think we covered the house top to bottom, front to back, side to side. So now let me get to a better area away from the roadway here. And I'm going to share my final thoughts. But before I do that, enjoy the photo montage. What an exploration. I'm gonna try my best not to ramble here, but I do wanna to touch on a few different things. So first off, I know this is a long video, 
I try to do my best to keep the videos as short as possible, but as long as necessary. And that's what it is here. Typically, I do a lot of cuts and, you know, just focus on key points. A house like this, though, you have to make an exception. There is just so much in there. I feel like I wouldn't be doing it justice or making an honorable video if I didn't show you as much as I can within a reasonable amount of time. I'm here over two hours and we only scratched the surface on what could be inside. With that being said, I think we maybe got a few pieces of that puzzle, as I like to call it. There was definitely some kids that lived here. I, my hunch, there was probably two. There was boys' items, girls' items. It could have very well just been one child with a mixture of toys. I think there was two, two kids at least. Definitely one of them being a girl. They had more than enough toys. There was boxes upon boxes of toys. We saw toys outside, the ride-on type. A lot of toddler stuff. And also stuff going up into teenage years. So either they held on to everything or they had, you know, kids at different stages of life. But we saw computers, DVD players, sound systems, um, electric guitars, musical instruments. So it's hard to say exactly who, you know, had what. It could have been one of the parents that had some of the instruments, could have been one of the children. That's for our own imagination, of course. Without a doubt, though, I'm pretty certain that one of the uh, family members worked at a bowling alley, if not more than one. There was local advertisements for two, I think two, maybe three different bowling alleys, one of which is no longer in business. And we saw bowling pins, we saw um, the chairs, the seats, and there was just a a lot of signs pointing that someone was involved in bowling. I think more than just an avid bowler, someone that maybe worked there, did repairs on the equipment. Again, up to your imagination, but that's what signs are pointing towards. I didn't find a calendar, not to say there wasn't one, but it could have been buried. But we did see newspapers and canned goods, and the last dates we saw was roughly 10 to 11 years ago. And that does kind of make sense. I mean, even 10 years ago, I mean, this place was hard to live in. The other thing I want to touch on, which I said earlier, is that it is kind of sad conditions. It's someone's life is back there in that home and on the property. The children had to live in conditions like that. I would be surprised if they even had friends or family over, you know, for get-togethers just because there's no room. It's just walkways for the most part. Things scattered everywhere. Very seldomly were you walking on the actual floor. So I, I felt bad for children that are subject to that I mean they don't have a choice that's the family they're given that they're you know birthed by and raised with and that's probably all they knew and as I mentioned hoarders have usually something wrong with them where they just can't disattach themselves from items and they hold on to everything and it gets to be unhealthy and almost a, a safety hazard to the point that we saw the bathroom the bathroom was by far the nastiest most disgusting vile thing I've ever seen I was really close to gagging and almost curling because it was that gross. Use tampon pads, use toilet paper, a toilet bowl half full of excrement. There was also buckets I forgot to show. Buckets in the bathroom that have dried up feces. It looks like maybe they even used it for fertilizer. I don't know. I'm guessing they didn't have running water at some point because why would you do that? I don't know. I one bathroom and that's the condition it was. The tub was full, you couldn't take a bath. It wasn't the cleanest house, it wasn't the cleanest family, but they had more than just junk. There was a lot of things in there that probably are valuable to someone. It would make a great you know, flea market finds thing or an estate sale. The property, who knows what's gonna happen with it. It's definitely been abandoned for about a decade at least. There's nothing posted, no gates, no signs, no nothing. It's just sitting here, kind of nestled in the woods but close to a busy roadway. Close enough that you could see it. That's how I spotted it. I spotted it a couple years ago, and today was a day I pulled the trigger on it, made it happen, and I'm glad I did because I came before the house was gone, before the roof caved in. It's, this is gonna stand out as one of the most, not amazing, but probably one of the most memorable abandoned homes. And the number of bedrooms, I just can't get over it. Small bedrooms, but a number of bedrooms, like four to five to six bedrooms. I want to hear your thoughts. I know you guys love stuff like this. I know a lot of you are my age or older, so you probably have experience with some of the items you saw, maybe even had them as a kid, or are familiar with value on antiques or stuff like that. 
if you want to share anything, I'm sure myself, not I'm sure myself, myself and I'm sure others will appreciate any input that you can share regarding what we saw. But definitely a combination of old and semi-modern, but just very poor conditions. But large piece of property, kind of private, but noisy. Good and bad, however you look at it. With that being said, thank you so very much if you made it to the end for watching because I did my due diligence to make it through there. Climbed over Mount Cratmore, made it up to the attic. I pushed myself to the extremes to document this house and to share it with you guys. So if you do enjoy the video and my efforts, giving it a thumbs up is your best way to show support and leave a comment. That way it lets YouTube know that you guys like the video and we'll share it to others. Anyways, to see more abandoned videos like these ones, check the playlist down below. Otherwise, thanks again, everyone. And like always, I'll see you in the next video. This little bonus material is actually making my way out of the property, coming out a different way. The house is down there, maybe about 40, 50 yards. And up here, there's more items. Number of tires. This is, a, I believe, like a fridge or freezer combo. Maybe wash drums, a sink made out of concrete, like a pedestal, a uh, basin. The faucets are still on it. I think that, no, it's not concrete. I thought it was, sorry. I guess it's metal, so they're collecting everything metal here. And just all throughout. Another garbage dump here too. Another landfill. Look at this, it's actually dug out. Oh my goodness, look at all the bottles. Unreal. So much waste. I don't know if they were gonna bury this at some point. That's pretty bad if they were, because this is not gonna disintegrate. Whoever gets the property is gonna have their uh, work cut out for them to say the least. Oh, this I think is a bowling ball cleaner. Bowling ball cleaning machine. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. That's what some of this equipment is, I think. I was wondering what it could be. And that makes more sense because we saw things related to the bowling alley, the chairs, the pins, the advertisements. I'm almost certain this is a bowling ball cleaning machine. I don't know, maybe not. I'm getting ahead of myself here. It says, soup and water saver, small, medium, regular. I thought, I thought this was a bowling ball cleaning machine. I don't know what this is now. If you guys have any idea, feel free to fill me in. I'm guessing a washing machine if I was to guess. Oh, I thought I found something rather Really cool. Not to say it's not, but I thought it was a bowling ball machine, cleaning machine. All right, guys. Just wanted to share that bonus item with you. Well, once again, I'll be looking forward to your comments. Take care, everyone.